All right, let's take a little walk here. Uh, we built this, uh, or filled this in with gravel for extra parking because uh, there's never enough parking here. I built this wall over the summer. Yeah, I kind of like it. And then the uh, tiny home is still here. We have a new tenant, but uh, since four years ago, but other than that, it's still there. Um, we planted some cedar trees here. Kind of marked the property line. <clears throat> and we're in the middle of putting up this new fence so that we can turn that top section up over there for dog play area because right now the dogs are in their, their kennels which are good size but they need to get out and run in different spots and places so they can sniff around um, took the big shed out tore that down Put a log landing there so I can work on my wood and we put a big barn size garage in a box over there to house all of our equipment. There's our new tractor back there in one of those. And uh, we need to burn. This, uh, this pile has been here all summer but you can't burn it because it gets too hot. And uh, could cause a big fire here we already we just had a big fire here Beachy Creek fire and uh, we ended up having to evacuate for six days so and we got more fence line going down through here and we got this all cleared out say hello to the nice people <laughs> All right. Mm. Hey, that's a squirrel. See the squirrel over there playing? Mm -hmm. There's two of them. There's one down at the base of the tree. You want to go get your 22 and show people mm -hmm. how to do the mighty hunter thing? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. Well, that's good. That's good. All right. Really wet day today. During the, uh, just before the fire, we had a really big windstorm and it took out a bunch of our big cottonwood trees. We can see right over there is another root ball up in there. And then there's that one and another one behind it. Oops, I'm going the wrong way here. And more trees down. This is the main trail going down to the river, but we have other trails, so we'll take you down that one. Okay, this is the trail that's open. We used to pretty much own everything on this side of it. But we recently purchased everything on this side of it now, so we're going to work on clearing that whole side so that it's open and we can get through there and see and keep the fire danger down to a minimum because in the summer all that gets really dry. And this used to be the split for the property line before we bought it ours would go off that way and the other property line would go that way it was really weird 18 degree property line variance through here out there um. out there we've come in here and done clearing with the tractor Heather recently bought me a new one because our old tractor, the 
the loader arm broke off and fell to the ground so that's not going to do us much good it can be fixed but i have to weld it so um, i don't want to have to deal with that right now so we went and bought a new tractor and now we're trying to get this all cleared out we had a surveyor came out and says the line is over here and uh, we're disputing that because the neighbor actually ordered the survey so we're having our own surveyor come on Monday to verify if that line is right not that it really matters that much but I don't want to be clearing on neighbor property he's going to be clearing anyway but we only cleared where we thought the line was approximately because we wanted the surveyor to be able to get through so uh, we figured we'd give them a path that's the property stake so part of the clearing I cleared was through here but it abruptly takes an easterly sharp turn Water's really high. <clears throat> Which way you want to go? This way? We have a lot of down limbs and stuff. All of this needs to just go to the burn pile. If you can ever burn, got a lot of washed up stuff here since we first purchased here four years ago. Concrete pillar is still there. And our island is still there. I don't know how much longer it's going to be there, but that's a nice log lounge in the water. I'm about tripping over everything in here. Quit tripping. Are you tripping? Okay, another Y here. Let's go off to the right, huh? And go up on the berm there. This used to be the property line split trail we thought, but it's actually way over there. made this little landing area here we're going to fill this in so hopefully when logs get stuck in the river we got a place we can hook up and yard them up to and get them out of the water we have this trail that's well blazed through now um, I don't think it was this clear four years ago, but I can get my tractor through here now and the quads and all that stuff. And uh, still needs a lot of cleanup over here and the wind doesn't really matter. We can clean it up and then the following season we got to come through and clean it all up again. So it's difficult to find time to uh, do cleanup. And then in the new stuff, there's another big log down there in the water. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, upriver we had the, all the fire damaged logs that fell into the river and now they're starting to come down and rest in our part of the river here. Yep. Uh, I think it is getting a little bit closer. We've got this huge burned log that floated down here. And that's actually on Mike Wall's property uh, right now, part of the river. But it's probably going to float down this way. And you can see it's got charred bark on it from the fire. And then all that burned debris down there in the water. And that is actually part of our island up there that it's on. And we got a nice little swimming hole over there. Oh gosh. What a mess. This is going to be a lot of work. 